Yes, good evening, guys, and uh, welcome to uh, the last eight or the quarter final of the uh, UK Open here at uh, St James's Park between Craig Batten and Michael, the real deal, Peel. <laughs> uh, I'm joined in the comedy box by a fantastic cueist and player that's uh, had a good run in the Open, Mr. Mackey. How did you get on earlier, mate? <laughs> Not said about that, Chris. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, he was, he, 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 the cuest. You are taking the uh, <laughs> proverbial. Uh, Absolutely, my mate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he got beaten and decided, but had a good run, mate. So you must have enjoyed it today. Yeah, yeah. It's always a, it's always a pleasure these events, aren't they? You know, great venue as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been very impressed. The hotel across the road as well, spot on. Yeah, the Sandman. That's where we at as well. It's brilliant. Yeah. So we're trying to get some updates, obviously, as you join us, if you want to check the scores out and the updates at the moment on qscore.com. But currently in the quarterfinals, from the top half of the draw, we have Mark Farnsworth versus Ben Davies, currently at one frames apiece. In the second sem- the second quarterfinals, we've already had a great win on the stream match before. Clint Ianson beating Jordan Shepard 7-1. So the winner of uh, Mark and Ben will play Clint. Uh, ben Davies, my tip yesterday on the stream to win the Open. So... Mm-hmm. Um, in the bottom half of the uh, draw, Simon Ward is currently playing Liam Dunster, fours apiece. And uh, now, obviously, Mike Gary Peel Spooner versus Greg Batten. Yeah. And, uh, Greg's just got underway there, won the lag. Spotted the ball on his first break, nice split there. Really nice split from Greg. Just uh, I think uh, we're just going to have a look and see if uh, there's any chats going on on the YouTube page. Any questions you'd like to ask myself or well, the cuest? Uh, just give us a shout. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what hand signals I'm giving Chris here behind this <laughs> microphone. <laughs> and don't worry, it's not under the table hand <laughs> signals. <laughs> yeah. So how's your weekend gone, Chris? Yeah, brilliant, mate. Yeah, uh, brilliant. I got, I got booted and I got booted. Two <laughs> matches out the door, thank you very much. And I got this morning yeah. not to pick up one in the queue, mate. But yeah. it's one of those things, isn't it? It happens and you just got to move on. Yeah. We do soldier on. Absolutely, my mate. Back on the practice table. Get sick of that one as well. Uh, <laughs> you still putting in a lot, Chris? Or yeah, I've been mean, playing a fairly bit, mate. To be honest with you, but uh, it just seems that obviously the breaks and all that's a mm. bit of a sh- a poor shot from Greg. But obviously still in command of the frame. Yeah, I've been put a bit in, mate. Not probably as much as before. Uh, it's one of those things, isn't it? I think. Sometimes you need a little bit of a break as well, just to get sort of refreshed. Of course you do, yeah. 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 It swings and roundabouts. You get a good weekend, you get a bad weekend. In the day, you get beaten in the first round, or you get beaten in the third or fourth round. It, mm. it, yeah, it's a nice little run, but you want to win something. It's like I want to win an event, whether it was Amateur last year, whether it was the pro event, the pro event this year, the Open. Definitely. Uh, everyone's plays goals just to win these events. Of course they are, yeah. And if you don't, then. You've got to sort of start back at the um, drawing board, but there's eight players, well, not eight players, sorry, there's seven players still in with a shout of winning the title, and basically it'll be a new winner for this year since uh, Mr Boyle yeah. uh, got dispatched off Clint. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so there'll be a new name on the winner circle this year. Yeah. Poor shot there by Michael. Uh, uh, he just, by Michael, he just tried to cover the, cover yeah. the red, really. Yeah. Uh, I'm sort of left now where Greg relatively, once he puts the one down the rail, and then obviously the red over the pocket, a relatively simple finish for uh, somebody of Greg's standard. Yeah. So you're backing the local man here, Michael? And yeah, I, just think, I just think he's had a good run. He hasn't picked up a queue since February. He came, <laughs> no, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> came to, I think, the two or one, sort of back in the February or whatever, and then he missed the last two. Uh, Michael's obviously came from a World Rose background, mm. uh, South Shields boy, so very, very local. 
uh, for me, probably is one of the best players in the North East. Mm. If not the best, you know, obviously, yeah, Mark yeah. stands out. But regarding ability, obviously, he works now, Michael, uh, for a lot of years. He's got a family. Uh, so he's probably not as committed as he was when he was a younger lad. Mm. He's still a young lad, but... Uh, you know his talent's phenomenal I remember seeing a 15, 14 year old many moons ago at Buzzers the old Buzzers club Mustard and when I'm on about Mustard like stay mate mm. uh, hopefully maybe it's a good run and maybe it's a win might spur even further things for himself yeah. he's a layback back guy as well he's a lovely kid uh, but absolutely bags of ability he beat Sean Sevens on the screen the, the round before he knocked out Gaz Hibbert 7-5 and Gaz says basically he hasn't put up yeah, a run yeah I know yeah and that's some some result. He just doesn't want to rest on this. Uh, he's okay now. Yeah, I've played him a couple of times myself. A one-one loss one against Michael. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's, I think he's a bit like like he says. I think I had a chat with him just before his last thirty-two match uh, against Gaz, and he uh, says he hasn't played great. But I said, you win him, mate. Do you know what I mean? That's right, And yeah. then he sort of kicked in and played, like, a different level against guys. And then, obviously, oh, it's a slack shot from Greg. Uh, and then it kicks. Yeah, that wasn't the best of shot by Greg. He's awkward uh, queuing as well yeah. over the top of the yellow. He's going to have to do a big bridge or something here and just try and punch it into the top right. and. Try and hold for that red to the right centre. Just got a result in from one of the other semi finals in the bottom half. Simon Ward just beat Liam Dunster 7 4. Yeah. So the winner of obviously this game will play Simon in the semi finals. Clint's already in the semi finals, awaiting the winner of Ben Davis versus Mark Farnsworth. Yeah. <coughs> It's a great shot. Yeah, that was a good shot. Absolutely lovely shot. Cute and lovely, Greg. Yeah, queuing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this couple of simple balls take a. Should be taking a one frame lead now. Yeah. Well, it's a reason for Greg. Had a great year last year. Uh, obviously winning an amateur event and professional this year so mm. yeah, absolute quality player I think it's going to start to fill up later as well people coming back and forth for the semis in the final I think there'll be a great crowd here obviously yeah. I, know, I know Mark boils out but so the Scottish contingent won't be raring to go, but mm. uh, there'll be a massive crowd, obviously, depending on who's, I think, whoever's in the final this evening. Yeah, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of faces I don't recognise around, and it must, you know, must be local. Boys. Yeah, locals, just, a lot of locals yeah. guys come along, which is yeah. good. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think a lot of that's what we want. Sort of yeah. local events. A lot of lads are coming to drink, support like local lads, but also other lads they met previously. Yeah. So they've all come out for this was last night as well as this afternoon tonight. And I think, obviously, possibly whether it's Michael or whether it's Mark, obviously it's two local boys still left in the quarters. Mm. I think they may just have an even further stroll along to St. James's. Yeah. It's, it's great to watch on the stream and what Dave does is phenomenal. Uh, but it's always best live action. It's a great venue here, so yeah. it's a nice break there from Michael. I asked um, Kev last night whether it's a keeper this place. It's got to be. Yeah, well, yeah, he wasn't. Didn't commit. Yeah, he wasn't. He's keeping his cars close to his chest, let's, let's just say. You know, and he's uh, running out of options, you know, because we're, we're getting bigger all the time. It's it's not easy, is it, logistically? No, no, no. But to be fair, I think the feedback that I've received, I haven't heard any negatives not at all, regarding no. the venue. No. None whatsoever. No. Uh, you know, just the size, the sheer size of the suite here at St James's Park. It's quite comfortable around the tables, plenty of seating, standing area. I think it's perfect. I've got to admit, I was pretty taken back by the stadium. I've never, I've never been to the North East in my life. Oh, you never been uh, to Newcastle? No. no. And um, yeah, when um, when I pulled pulled up, you know, around the corner, and then it's just it. You're there, it's there, and it's like, fuck it. yeah. 
It's a bit of a slack shot from Michael there. I think he should still get should it. Should be alright. Yeah. To be fair, it could have been a lot better on the black. Yeah, yeah he's nailed it. Nice. So I say the the, the shield boys are getting yeah. behind the local <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think that that could play a part as well. Depending, obviously, I know Greg's very calm and calculated to play, and he's a tremendous player. But if these boys are on it and uh, supporting the real deal, one's a piece. Yeah, it's mad how the stadium just sits around all the area. Yeah, it? yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a it's like built center. into the yeah, city centre. Yeah, built into the centre, isn't it? Yeah. 55,000 capacity. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even in the championship, you're getting that kind of figures. Is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll probably fill it again as well, won't they? Oh, definitely, yeah, because they're mad supporters of yeah, the Rangers, yeah, mad, yeah. mad for football, passionate about it. And like I say, we were all delighted when Kevin announced that... Uh, they changed the tour and uh, brought one to the northeast because there's a few northeast boys on the tour now. Mm. So look, Greg to break. Oh, white, white. Oh dear. Oh. So my uh, my partners from up this neck of the woods. That's. Uh, that, that was her old address there. Shotley Bridge concert, not yeah. too far. It's probably about from here, a nice little 15, 20 minute drive. Yeah, yeah. Go past the A1, go straight up the 6, I think it's the 694. That's right, yeah. Yeah, uh, 15, 20 minutes from Durham, so not too far. Quite rough up there. Has your bit a bit rough, like? <laughs> 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 if you're watching, apologise. <laughs> but if you're rough as Emily. Emily. Emily, <laughs> Emily, if you're from Shotley Bridge, bet you're a bit rough, like, <laughs> to be fair. And you need a medal to put up this boy. Yeah. <laughs> I think, to be honest, that's one of the reasons why they moved away from the area. Because <laughs> it was a bit he, rough. Yeah, it was a bit rough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or do you mean she's had it a bit rough? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no more said about that. Man. Exactly, mate. <laughs> So obviously Michael just deciding what suit it goes for. Obviously Reds is there to be fair, but that yellow's awkward in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, he's got ball in hand there, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, and the black's not ideal as well, so Michael's got a little bit to think about here. Yeah. I'm taking the yellows, I think. I'm playing the plant and then taking the yellows. Yes. I'm playing the yellow again. Yeah, yeah. Because then basically the yellow should link the four yellows and then obviously get an angle sort of just to drift it up towards the black. But uh, me personally, I'm going putting the red over the bag. These are these, the these are the suit. type of things you just just keep it simple, you know, and, and don't overcomplicate things. I think he's doing the right thing. He's just taking reds and just. I just don't like that other red uh, below the red in the middle. I don't know whether that does that. I think the red above the yellow in the middle goes, but then obviously I, I can't see the other red going past the yellow as well. Mm -hmm. See if Michael fancies it. Hence when you're probably just plumping for knocking the red in and playing yellow. Yeah, shot that's seen. a good shot. I think he's... Uh, he might even be able to just shave shave off that yellow and just and push, push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, oh, yeah, yeah it's uh, a good well. shot. Mm, he's got a nice angle on the red, though. Yeah. Or if he leaves it sort of white where the red is, you can screw the red in off the bottom reel to kick it over for the black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you roll it enough through to get an angle there, put it in the middle and come back across. So just sort of stun this maybe. See how Michael sees it. 7.5 mil tip. Yeah. I think he's got to top this through, you know. I don't he's going to have to, I think. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he's got the ideal angle to screw it. Oh, no, it's well, yeah, nice yeah, he's topping it. Yeah, just, top just before the jaw. That's a good shot. Nice oh, played really well, nice and positive. That's a great shot from the real deal. The real deal, I love that name. <laughs> yes, Michael Peel. I mean, that, that, that nickname goes with his name, doesn't yeah. it? But you got like uh, Jimmy Carney. Uh, the Con sh Carney. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the showman. The right? showman, like, that doesn't what? work like that. No, it? it just doesn't. And especially That's when you see Jimmy do all the lineups and that. I'm like, Jimmy, <laughs> yeah. like your baby can pop them lineups. <laughs> Is that to get your cue and go? Yeah. 
I saw you, r- saw you ribbing him, weren't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, ribbing uh, him at one of the events. I go, Jimmy, man, and nobody can miss them, man. <laughs> Jimmy, Con Carney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, he just goes, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. You've got to get it, like. Uh, yeah. That was at uh, Savannah's, wasn't it, in the uh, World uh, Series? I remember. Yeah, I remember. I remember yeah, he's yeah, practicing yeah. his own. Yeah. He's got absolutely, he's just rolling the ball through, dead weight. <laughs> the ball, dead weight. I'm going, Jimmy, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Bless him. Yeah. So, Michael, a break here. Basically, three finishes from Michael. Oh, uh, he's crunched that. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. Yeah, honestly, I just think it's going to be carnage. This, I think, there's going to be nothing missed in this match. Both players playing really well. Black's tied up and Zick's mm. just got. Up. I think you can get an angle on one of those yellows yeah, to go definitely. in and pot the red one. Yeah, I think if as long as the yeah, it's that plant, as long as the black plants the red in, then I don't think it's a major issue. Mm. Could obviously get him take yellows over the pocket first and then. Just trying to get on this uh, this Wi-Fi just to get the chat up, but uh, just had a uh, just seen a message from uh, where are we at in my inbox of the legend himself, the Rafa. Good evening, Rafa. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, obviously enjoyed your 55th birthday the other day. Who's that, Benitez? Uh, Stevie Shotton, <laughs> Corals and Ladbrokes legend who does the sort of book and the odds. All oh, right, okay. Uh, just message there. Stop talking football, lad. You know <laughs> less than that than you do about pool. You might flip this off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's come back to that. He's still all right, though, because he can drop sort of to this side of that. Oh, well, we've got the chat. Oh, open. that's the best one. Dave's a legend, isn't he? Yeah. Can't see it very well, can you? <laughs> Ah, I can see this. Don't forget, guys, any uh, questions for myself, Andrew, just drop us a message. Uh, hashtag Bazooka, hashtag The Qest. <laughs> <laughs> the Qest. <laughs> Until he was six as a piece with Neil Rayborn, he's absolutely <laughs> dropped the beginning. <laughs> I've come outside, he's crying like spilt milk. I'm like, are you all right? <laughs> oh, Mickey, I'm lucky. Seriously. You nasty man, nasty uh-huh. man. I do want to remind you. Yeah. <laughs> you I wish I'd have never told you, though, because yeah, no, I'm just, just going to get it all the time. Like, <laughs> can you turn the volume up a bit? Uh, that's for Dave to sort out, I'm not sure. It's probably, is it to drown out us boys? Mm. Does anybody know why they use a, a different triangle for the Open to which they had for the Pro Man? To be honest with you, I think the trial in this new uh, triangle... Uh, Mark called the Racker. Uh, obviously, generally, on the tours, we use sort of the the, the right right racks. But I think there's a gentleman that's obviously sells the product and designed the product that uh, you've tried it over the last event. So I don't think it's because it was sort of between the open and things. It's just the way the trial in it, to be fair. And uh, I haven't any feedback, but I'm sure the guys will give some feedback regarding it. Greg's on reds here, and to be honest with you, I'd expect somebody with Greg's calibre to uh, take these out. Commentator's gone a little quiet. Is that better? Can you hear us now? I can hear you. Yeah, I think that's... uh, We've just been turned up a touch. Sorry guys, if you just lost a, uh, a bit of our electric voices there, but uh, hopefully we're back up to normal speed now. Mm. Hopefully enjoying this great match already with Michael Peel leading Michael, the real deal Peel. The real deal. Two frames to one against Greg Button. Uh, obviously Greg's got a great opportunity here to sort of level the match. Don't forget it's race to sevens all the way through in the open, and that's even in the final. Let's yeah. see if we've got any updates on the score on my uh It should be okay, but you think he's gonna have to come down come down the table now and Yeah, I think he'll just clip it down, maybe just play playing ball and play sort of the red at the top I think he can go half ball on this one, it depends how Rick sees it, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, so there's a big upset in the draw coming up. Oh, currently my pick yesterday on the stream before the open kicked off. Ben Davies versus Mark Farnsworth. Currently, Ben Davies is leading six frames to four. Oh, so one more for Ben to yeah. join Clint in the first semi. Oh, oh is this all right. He's just oh, knuckled it just. in the semi-finals. Uh, Simon obviously went the winner of this. Yeah. So there could be a big, big upset yeah. on the cards there. But for be fair, Ben's such a quality player, been playing brilliant. Yeah. In the last two or three months, just the results or people will have a missed against him. He's full time now, you know. Yeah, yeah I know. Sure, so. That's why I like when people saying like it's a good bet. It's not an outsider regarding value, but a, a decent price. Mm. I just had a feeling for Ben. Mm. Obviously, it wasn't because he smashed me here too <laughs> <laughs> in the pro. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yeah. before an uh, open ball, yeah. might be a good shout. It's a yeah. long way to go, like, but. And. Uh, He's going to have to drag this in with a trace of uh, Brad and Jimmy on here. Yeah, you could just even put loads of bottom and just drag it in, isn't it? Just loads of bottom yeah. and drag it. And it'll naturally drift. No. Oh, he's missed it. That's it for the real deal. Yeah, the real deal for the black to take and Greg cannot miss them opportunities no. against Michael because he's such a fluent player yeah. playing well the crowd's there giving it the big and yeah, yeah, proper yeah, the big yeah. and Greg's going to feel it and them opportunities race to seven at this level quarter finals he needs to make sure he eliminates them uh, mistakes do you know we're only we're only four frames into this match and already Greg's quit on about three shots three shots yeah you know um, so he is feeling it definitely 100% and if you look at the balcony into the left basically the all north east lads <laughs> yeah. and to be fair generally I would say out of I'll just have a look now I reckon there's only about seven players out of all the supporters that actually the rest have come up <laughs> yeah, you know, this afternoon or just and there's more them. players playing in the amateurs that <laughs> later are obviously going to come around and support course, the yeah, real yeah. deal yeah, as well yeah. so we've got Greg Batten to break trailing three frames to one it's got to be good Dry, dry, yeah, dry. Fairly tricky, though, isn't it? Mm. If you're going to go dry and you see them, you're not overly as concerned to a certain extent. Mm. Certainly, a lot of work to do. <coughs> I'm not sure if our uh, if our Chat's disconnected here. Um, Please wait to reconnect you. I'm not sure on that one. As our if somebody in the chat just wants to say hello, we can know our chat's live and working. Mm -hmm. This has been a message for a while. There we have it, guys. The first semi final is confirmed. Ben Davis versus Clint Ianson. Wow. Ben Davis beats Mark Farns with seven frames to four in the quarter finals. He will, the winner of this game will play Simon Ward mm. versus this game. So, if not mistaken, he says you think your chat's goosed. I refresh it. Ah, I think I think we're all. Oh, right. Are we all right? We've refreshed it now. Thanks, yeah. Rafa. Yeah. Uh. Hi, Sam Thurloway. So yeah, fans without. Yeah. That's Clint. When did Clint win a tour? I don't know. He won a pro. Did he win a tour last year? He won. Um, he won up in Scotland, didn't he? Simon Ward hasn't won a tour, has he? Or has he won a pro event? Yeah, he's he won a pro. He's, um, we could have a new winner. We could have a new winner at least for a year or two minimum. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm sure, I'm sure Simon has won a tour event. Who know. beat Mark Boyle? Uh, Mark Boyle got beat of Clint I. Anson in the last 16. I think it was 7-5. I think Clint was 6-3 up when he's... Mark just smashed this red and fluked it. No shot in the black. Smashed it 100 miles an hour. Hit the black open well four pockets and parted it. And you think that's 6-4. <laughs> He's dished the next 6-5. You're thinking, oh, this could be naughty. Mm -hmm. And obviously Clint's got over the rear line to, I think it was in 7-5. Yeah. 
it's, it's a nice shot there Matty Turner Michael the orange peel it's <laughs> 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 <is> very good <laughs> I think that Michael could win it. Really impressed by him. Danny, 100% mate. He's a great cueist. And to be fair, probably one of the best players in the North East by a country mile. Like I say, I think he's only picked up the cue. Yeah, he's, he's just got that natural uh, ability on him. Let's see. 100%. Raw. He's raw. Well, he's raw, raw as anything. The raw deal. <laughs> yeah, Michael <right>. Peel. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting back to Craig's finish. Still tricky, you know. Obviously, the yellows. Uh, I don't know if you... Oh, thank you, lucky uh, 9381. Saying the commentary on the IPA streams is much better. Thank you. Clint's missing nothing. Yeah, he played brilliantly again. Sheppy to win 7-1. I've seen that, Sean. Do you know something? You, you, Well, the winner of this play is Simon Ward, and then you've got Clint and Ben. And pick a winner out of them, you know. It's hard. Yeah. So, like, to be fair, it's a win for everyone, and I think... When we've seen it, a lot of the like, lads are still in the last 16. Honestly, anybody can win it. I don't believe that. Yes, of course, there's favourites and sort of people who fancy who and this and that. But there was massive value in the market at the time. You know, Michael had won beat Gareth Hibbert and he was still 50 to 1 for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Now, you're backing that each way at 25. That's great value out there. Yeah. Uh, obviously, on the Corals website, Lad Rooks, obviously, the prices are there. Uh, hopefully we get some match betting for the semi-finals if uh, my mate Rafa's listening mm. get some match you, you've obviously got one match Clint versus Ben don't be texting me asking us the price Rafa what you would do and to what the price Peter Hill uh, enough with the name jokes well you don't have to listen to it Peter Hill or should we call you Peter the real deal Hill uh. <laughs> Simon Ward has won the final yeah I think he did mate I just couldn't remember if it was the pro or the tour uh, I'll check Danny I'll check the odds for you now why we uh, sort of here Paul uh, like I say I think it still be decent value because obviously he's still playing Greg uh, I'll just have a look on Ladbrokes or Corals <laughs> Simon Simon Ward has won a final I watched it super player yeah yeah, definitely. Simon's, um, he, he became a father. Um, was it earlier this year? Or yeah, it was, it? yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, anybody can relate to that when you have children. It just, uh, it, it puts your priorities in order. And, you know, Simon was a regular in, uh, in the latter stages of most competitions and then he just sort of slipped off but he's, yeah he's getting it back together again yeah a bit of a bad run but like you say it happens to everyone do you know what I mean of course it does yeah. Uh, yeah the quality of the field I think there is it uh, I'm sorry but my chat's there is it Mandy there or is it Matty Turner yeah Maybe Matty you can throw a blanket over the field 100% mate obviously there's always favourites in any field and have an edge but it's race to seven so just overcut that Greg I think as a way going to carry it mm. yeah he's not red uh, uh, to be honest with you you know Michael's got an opportunity here if he if he takes the red in the middle and just I don't know if he can put that red in the middle and then he's going to the top but I don't think he needs to play if he cuts the red in the middle here and then nudges into the red in the bottom rail mm. and puts that in that pocket he's got the one in the middle the one down the rail you know, it's fairly open really yeah one good shot obviously this is the key the black the black would be the uh, yeah, we could I'm leave maybe it's the red last second half last ball. Oh, is it a bit too hard, oh, isn't he? Yeah. But still not the end of the world the way the, 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 that yellow's lying. Evening. Uh, is it Kelvin? Kelvin Anderson? <laughs> yeah. Kels. All right, mate. Good evening, Paul. Hopefully enjoying the burgers are done and you're enjoying the rare. Uh, pool on a Saturday night yeah I think the final's going to be a bit late tonight to be fair Conway you're probably looking about midnight aren't you yeah I mean I it's obviously uh, quarters as a semis talking it's half past yeah definitely it's going to be like after 11 but it's all good entertainment for you guys watching at home so yeah currently the outright markets for the open guys and just have a oh it's live isn't it so if Corals Clint six to four, good value uh, six to four. 
Ben Davies two to one, Simon Ward two to one, Michael Peels now five to one, Greg Batten seven to one. So they're the prices currently. Yeah. Good evening, Sam. Sam Thurloy. Cario Gambino. Uh, I think it was Shepherd he beat in the final. All right. Yeah. Mate, all the burgers are flipped for today. Chilling with the San Miguel. Can't beat the Paul. Enjoy your evening. Yeah. With Ben Davis, Clint, and Water still in. Michael is a great is a great value. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely yeah, like for yeah. me, obviously Greg's a quality player, Simon's a quality player. So there's nothing in that bottom half. So if you're looking at value at fives, can't knock it. Obviously Greg's still in this. He's I know he's three one down. Oh, Ooh, what's happening here? He's got it. I think now it's hard to link these. I think you've got to play this yellow in the corner and sort of just a little bit of touch of left to go through the gap of the black and the red right across the channel for the one at the top. Mm -hmm. It's a real tough, tough shot. shot yeah. yeah, absolutely. Don't forget, guys, at the moment, uh, obviously the amateur events going on. A lot of tables here. So, again, if you want to update any scores on QScore.com and have a look at how your players are doing, just uh, get along on that, guys. Uh, the pro event concludes tomorrow uh, back in the last 32 stage yeah Andy Peely is a product here Brian Halko buzzer Brian has been coached like Compton Lee Hansen Wallace Wilson yeah for, for me my personal opinion Andy is probably Michael's the best you know, obviously, I rate George really highly. Obviously, the names and all the players there. But for me, you know, Michael since probably used 14, 15 year old, the old buzzers. Uh, for me, hand on table ability um, is just as good as Brian. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I respect Brian Halcrow uh, tremendously. Uh, he's just a great player, great tactical player, and he's got a lot of that. But it's weird that Brian's that kind of player, but he's brought massive, big firepower. Mm. Like with Peel, with George, you know, Willow, you know, the all grey potters, you know what I mean? Yeah. They are all very attacking players. Um, yeah, the real target, yeah, uh, Mark Farnsworth has been beat. He's beat uh, 7 4 for Ben. Yeah, Davies. Ben, ben Davies knocked him out. My man's tip, um, Ben. Yeah, Ronan got beat um, off Greg Batten. Uh, apparently, I just seen Ronan in the left coming up. Ronan was six three up against Greg, and yeah, a few obviously Ronan. If you use your mate, he'll probably tell you, pal. Had a few bad roll offs, and to be fair, it's cost him a game. Obviously, Greg's done well to come back and won seven six. You know, obviously Greg's a tremendous player, but Ronan felt a bit sort of grieved in the lift mm. and it wasn't you know running straight up if you play but he just say oh, I was rubbish mm. you know but he was 6-3 and he's got a few bad loss and obviously Greg's took advantage and uh, won the match 7-6 and uh, obviously our Ronan would have been playing in this match instead of uh, mm. Greg he's just uh, he's got to, I think he's got to take this one into the bottom left and try and bring the uh, bring his white high up to take uh, red into the left middle and just he, he might be able to disturb that block and red there but depends uh, I think it passes into the goes into the middle doesn't it that one that's next to the black oh yeah it depends how he sees it because he's such an aggressive player I'm probably thinking well, how do I run here like but I think Mickey will probably just clip this in just with the trace coming between the gap of the yellow and the red who's commentating well I'm uh, a pro on the uh, IPA tour Andrew McKee and alongside the, me the cuest <laughs> yeah. uh, fellow pro on the IPA we're both new pros this this year um, and Chris Boron local lad good evening guys you just joined us. Um, Who's going to be in the semi? Well, I presume, uh, because obviously Michael and Greg's on now, I presume the semi final where Clint was on previously. I personally think they'll put Ben Davis and Clint on in the semis, but I'm not sure, guys. Obviously, uh, we'll probably have a look at that. Uh, but it, it depends if they want to play the semis now on an out the table and put these guys straight back on. 
uh, the winner of this match against Simon. Hey, pal, uh, England trial, second reserve, rubbish made out of the nightmare day at the office. Like, <laughs> absolutely good at pal, but hey, you're going to lose. <laughs> Chris, when is Boyle smashing farmers? Has he agreed yet? Mm. Well, hopefully, get sorted, man. Obviously, Santa's sorting it out. Uh, you know, two great players, and uh, we look forward to the game when it gets sorted. Yeah, the old buzz is just the back of the train station, mate. Uh, yeah, BB's much better, pal, to be fair. Obviously, us lads always play World Rules, and at the time, World Rules was great. Uh, obviously, each the one, and people preference whether it's World Rules or Black Ball. Uh, but all the boys now have turned over, especially a lot of the Northeast guys and obviously the top end sort of players. And uh, there's still a few guys out there. Obviously, people like Chris Gill was here yesterday, he's a tremendous player. And uh, there's still a lot out there in the Northeast, but I think the shift's coming across. Who did Clint beat? Clint beat uh, Jordan's check. Uh, yeah, Clint's had two great matches. He obviously pumped Jordan 7 1, never missed a thing. And then he made Mark Boyle the round before and uh, beat him 7 5. Uh, two great matches. Clint's played really, really good. Uh, brilliant, he's played. Uh, you just expect Michael to take these out and 4 uh, 1. Just the way he's playing, I just can't see him missing these kind of opportunities. Uh, he's, uh, no, I'd have he's gone okay. the other way around there. Yeah, I would have. But like, he's, he just moved it. He's a bit arcing, but he's just going to come back. He'd be all right, honestly. Mm. He could even go into these, you know, because I don't believe he wouldn't be on the block if he goes into it. I know people play on it, but like, oh, what the, oh stop it. Stop it. Yeah. See that? That little yeah. 7.5 mil tip. Yeah. Just doing a bit of damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. stop it, Michael Peel. Yeah. That was outrageous. See, see honestly, the grip. Yeah. <laughs> I love his uh, his facial expressions. He's always oh. got something going on on his... Yeah, uh, when, he, when he give it a big in there, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Honestly, to hold, that was just outrageous, man. Yeah, yeah. So we've got Michael leading 4-1. Don't forget guys, Tristan. Yeah, try to get Simon Ward on their uh, stream. I think personally, he probably... I don't know. I, I don't I think, think Simon's been, been on the stream today, No, so that's he? why they might put him on, yeah, to be fair, because yeah. he hasn't. Clint has, Ben has. Obviously, both of these guys and Simon hasn't, so that could be the, the case for it. But we'll see. Nice break there from uh, the real deal. Um, Red's look. Uh, just cruising, like, honestly, if he's in this kind of mood, like, just damage. Uh, no, nah, yeah. Get on, 5 to 1, guys. The lads have peeled on it 50 to 1 when he was in the last 16. <laughs> Each way, I bet 50 to 1, so you got 25s your money, great value, especially with the draw. Michael playing really confident. Uh, sensational the way he's playing. <laughs> That, the real target that Davies different career with a couple of pies Ben's mm -hmm. an absolute gentleman as well absolute lovely bloke playing the, some brilliant pool just the results sort of happen when he's away but he's playing brilliant even though he's getting beat in the last one or two tours and he knows it himself so he knows it's just a matter of time it's a great shot that yeah mm. yeah definitely Danny that would have hurt certainly Greg you know he had a good opportunity to Sort of thing, and now obviously Michael's just going to mop these up, and no, it's, uh, you know it's going to be five one unless uh, no, and when he's in this when he's in this mood, he's just he's just like a Sheppy, he's like a train. We've got some. Uh, is, oh, we've, uh, we've got an amateur we, we, joining we've, us. We've got an old man that's just joined us in the commentary box. Uh, the man himself. Uh, good evening, Kevin. Uh, Kevin <laughs> Barton's joined us. Don't know if I should say good evening after that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what a day of shocks. Ah, but it was always coming the real deal. Michael Peel's turned up in the northeast. Mm. Uh, ben Davies just takes out Farnsworth. That was my pick on the stream yesterday, Mr. Davies to win the open. So he's going strong, knocking Ginge out. Uh, Clint's playing fabulous. Boyle's departed the scene. 
I told you there wouldn't be a Mark Mark win. I said it yesterday. New winners on the trophy. As Simon Kevin, somebody said in the stream, has Simon Ward won an open or was it a pro he won? I can't uh, remember. Pro. Pro. No, it he, wasn't an open, was it? I think he said he said he'd not won an open for about four years. Yeah. So I think yeah. he has won one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was four years. years. Yeah. 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 So recently he hadn't done it. Clint has, maybe he's. What's Clint? Uh, Clint's not won anything for a three, while. Four, three years, um, maybe three years. So we're going to have a rare, fairly, fairly new winner on the trophy. Yeah. Obviously this year, next year. Definitely I can't remember the one. Peely's absolutely watering like. He was in this. Greg has just really made a mistake. Probably was it to go to level a match two all or yeah. three or, uh, two all, yeah. And then since then, really, maybe he's had one little sniff, and now he's just absolutely fire. Yeah, 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 when he's, he's down, he's just so smooth. Well, just he's one of them that uh, he uh, obviously uh, we, I know Michael from you know a few years by, and yeah. uh, when he when he gets on one, he just he oh, can rattle them off. Just like to be fair. You know, I just hope he keeps in his momentum and doesn't play a, a few good careless shots that changes the momentum around. But I can't see it the way he's playing. Well, I think if he if he takes his frame out now, it's uh, it's game over for me. Well, I just can't see you know unless obviously the dry breaks and then the dishes and the breaks go the other way. I just can't see Michael there uh, coming up short. He's got these reds to go six one. Yeah, One of the rare guys we're asking, Kev, next match, obviously, we've got yep. an option on the stream. So next match, is, is it going to be Clint, I think, or Simon? Clint and Ben. Clint and Ben, next match on. I wasn't sure if you put Simon on because he hasn't been on the stream yet. He hasn't, no, but um, then it would have been one of these guys yeah, straight back, back on. on. Yeah, that's so, what I thought. Um, so, yeah, guys, so next match after this uh, conclusion is going to be uh, Clint Ianson versus Ben Davies in the semi final of the UK Open. Don't forget just to see if there's any prices up to it. It's building up nicely, the atmosphere, isn't it? Oh, it'll be chocker, like, you know, and I think if Peely can get to the final, it'll be rampant. Obviously, people <laughs> will probably come generally for Mark, but... Uh, he's really, he's playing to the, to the audience, isn't he? Uh, oh, definitely. Michael, yeah. He's got the hopes of the North East on his shoulders. <laughs> Michael Peel goes to 4-1, to guys, to win the Open. Greg Button currently 10-1. to Simon Ward and Ben Davies joint at 2-1. to and Clint at the moment six to four favourite. It's a nice break. Is he going to get a ball? Yes. Hi, Chris. How are you doing, pal? I'll give you my shirt in Cyprus. Uh, do you love my shirt? How are you doing, pal? Yeah, we had a fantastic time in Cyprus. Obviously, Kev's here. I uh, hope you're well, mate, and uh, we had a fantastic weekend. The hospitality was phenomenal uh, over in Larnaca, and uh, you guys did a, a great job all weekend, and uh, it's one of those experiences we'll uh, obviously I certainly enjoyed, and hopefully you come back, even though I came a day late. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully you're enjoying it over Cyprus, pal. We enjoyed I and Apple on the night as well, the last night. <laughs> There was more morning than night, wasn't there? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so six one. Yeah, Michael's just uh, he's just pumping everything in right into the heart of the pocket at the moment, and uh, it's a good feeling when you're playing like that. Definitely, you know, you and obviously in the momentum, in the moments, and the games. Obviously, you see the pockets, you see the finishes. So it's great. Also, some uh, breaking news that I've uh, just been told. Apparently, the bar's run out of beer. Oh, <laughs> dear me. That's about right. This is right. strange yeah, for yeah. beer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's his first one for a long, Commentator's long time. Commentator's curse there. I think it's probably the second ball he's missed maybe he's in the match, possibly. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, so... We'll give him that one. We'll give him that one. Yeah, Chris, uh, please, you're great, mate. Uh, next time, we'll go to Napa, mate. Hopefully, I'll qualify next year. And Kev obviously comes back to Cyprus, so hopefully you get the opportunity and uh, you're a funny guy, enjoying my shirt, Paul. Can I just say the chairman did not go to Ayanapa? No, the chairman and Mr. Rayborn didn't go to Ayanapa. <laughs> oh, God, uh, sticking them up. <laughs> yeah, we on the Sunday night thought, well, we've had the best hospitality, lovely blokes we met, and obviously ladies. It's been great, <laughs> but we've got to hit the Napa. Uh. Yeah, the chairman did Iron Napper about 20 years ago. 
Mm. Yeah, in front of you. Go, I, did you have hair then? No. No. <laughs> when was the last time you had a haircut? Probably when he was 20 four. years ago. <laughs> Probably after Ryan up, I think. <laughs> oh, what's he done here? Oh. He's got the bag covered, but... Uh, to be fair, the way the Michael Spain, though, and the aggression that you show that bag means nothing because he'll just start banging them. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got that, that one over the right centre. He can maybe float down behind them. Yeah, the table looks mint, mate. Uh, obviously, you fancy Clint to win. But, yeah, obviously, it gets wrapped uh, by Alan Yates from here, ball direct. And, obviously, where the corner bags are, they get, like, anodized. They got dipped and they, like, a carbon five. It does look absolutely sensational. Obviously, the arena here is fantastic as well. Can uh, can Dave get a close-up of the uh, corner pockets? Yeah, Dave. Go on, use your new toy and just zoom into these. Honestly, these are expensive, these pockets. So, these, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, the, the corners have been hydro-dipped. Hydro-dipped, there you go. Yeah, there so, go. like what they do on the alloy with alloy wheels. Ah, right. Um, there you so, go. it goes into that uh, fancy liquid. Camera five. And uh, comes up with like this pattern on. Yeah, it looks nice, like so a carbon fibre ca- pattern, isn't it? Look at that. The dogs. <laughs> the only one of its kind in the world. Yeah. Lovely table, though. It looks mint, especially in this arena. It's filling up to the left, filling up to the right. All the pool players that's getting knocked down or finishing the amateur. Getting ready for the semis tonight. Could be a late one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You're probably just looking at, well, depending on who's in the semis. Davies, Clint's going to be quite quick game. The next one's not, it's not so bad. Half 11, fingers crossed. Yeah, probably, Skev. Which isn't bad. We pulled it back a bit. It was looking like about uh, midnight earlier. Yeah, um, Kelvin and that woman that came on uh, the stream was awesome. What in Cyprus? Well, steady away, pal. Steady away. She did amazing on all the, uh, the work and the lead up. Catherine. Uh, yeah. Catherine, yeah. She was fantastic, obviously. <coughs> Runs the Federation over in Cyprus and Larnaca and uh, got national TV in there sometime. It was, honestly, it was unreal. Like. He's trying to screw behind this. Yeah, it looks like it. No, he's not. He's Just not. stop on that shot there, did he? Not like. He's mm. quite get that. that. Yeah. I mean, there is a potential plant and skill shot. It's, uh, if you look on camera four, it's it's lined up perfectly. Mm. You've got to hit that plant, though, Kev. Yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah. Are you on about plant and skill? Yeah. Mm. All day in my hour. Now you're being like, you're going back to the olden days when, like. Hello, he's going to soak himself. Oh, no. Nah. Mm. A bit of adrenaline there, wasn't they? Mm. Just overhit that one quite a bit. He's going to have plenty of opportunities left in this match to get over the line, though. And see, is six, he? Yeah. You just never know, do you? <laughs> yeah. I can't really see it. Like no, we've seen six up comebacks before. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. You never see a die, but I just think. I, th- I think you see them like maybe earlier on in a, in, a, in a tournament, but not the latter stages. You know. The players that have got here have got here and on, got some rhythm on and merit, you know. And they break and well, I just couldn't see that. But pools, pool, it can happen. Yeah, well, obviously, Greg sitting there just thinking, well, to be fair, Michael's done really nothing wrong. I've made a few careless ones, and it's six-one. You know, it's not like Greg's played terrible. Just Michael's actually took every single opportunity, and then asking the question with Greg. Yeah, so uh, well, are they uh, have they got to go out of, uh, got to go out for a couple of extra barrels. Uh, for the, for the barrel, I don't know what they do. It's the draft. I think they've run out of draft. That's right. Yeah. So have, they, have they got it downstairs or? or well, or it's, I know they've got a feed They've it. got some other functions on. They've got so. weddings on downstairs, mm. haven't they? Because I've seen it on the suite. Obviously, the Bobby Robson suite name dropping in that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two weddings on downstairs. So it's going to be pot and safety. Yeah, definitely. Although that's not the. Depends yeah, how far that should be okay. He just nudges this cigar and he just rests it nice and tight. Just a little dink. See what's happening in the amateur event while we uh, get into this little bit of a tactical. So he's just tied his yellow up there, really. So if he did, uh, I don't think he's going to gain two shots off this, but I think that probably goes bottom left. Yeah, it goes in bottom left or top, isn't it? So it should be alright. Let's see where we are. Last 16, last 32. Saw some players in the last 64. Pre-Blaken. You can almost see the chalk on the 
Yeah. Feel his tip there. Yeah. yeah. He's, he looks like he's got a really old piece of wood there, you know, like a... It's been re-spliced last it? week, two weeks ago, Johnny from XLQ, the yeah. North East new Q maker. Yeah. Uh, old piece. I think the tip used to be like over 8 on mils, now it's 7.4, because obviously he used to break with it, so when he used to hit it, obviously he just busting his end on the thing, mm. so now it's about 7.5 mil tip, a lovely pe- old piece of wood. Mm. Just he's had it redone and re-spliced. They like to another, <coughs> another inch on that one. He's played that well. So could this be the comeback on that we just dismissed <laughs> instantly? <laughs> we heard a lot of things about Greg when he came on the tour um, last year. Mm, had a great and, year last year. Um, yeah. Then went went a bit quiet. And uh, obviously now back with a bang. I think it's pull for you though, when Kev swings around the rod. You're like, oh, yeah. he's playing well, he's on, he's on form. And then you don't, like Simon Ward went away a little bit, sort of, you know, like result-based. And obviously he's having a great two with this one. Yeah. So he could have just... Uh, yeah, he's okay though, isn't he? You wouldn't expect yeah, it like should be misses. okay, yeah. Yep. So yeah, nice finish there for Greg. Yeah. Uh, the Six comeback's two. on. Why? Well, you never know. And then we'll have uh, a little bit of custard on our faces. Just for you guys out there, obviously, uh, you can go on qscore.com for the amateur that's currently going on. And the last 64 games and the last 32 will be played tomorrow. A few people are already through. Different games. We've got Craig Lake and Notorious Events. Mark Bone through. Mark Fleming for you Scottish guys Scott Gillespie's there against a great player and Declan Duff playing each other Dave DJ McNamara versus Mickey Singh so some great lineups this is the amateur event in the last 64 Mark Boyle versus about 6 650 700 quid as it stands and delivered with the blue cloth which is obviously the new Stratton cloth which obviously owned by Simenez so uh, you can get that delivered with our pal and then obviously if you want a table wrap you can get any, any t- you can get that wrap done in anything you wish mm. uh, and obviously that gets fitted and I think I remember the four corner pockets because I picked them up it was somewhat like stupid money to be fair they were like 150 160 quid so 30 or 40 quid a pocket mm. but they do look the part yeah. and it's one of those things if you're going to have a table for sort of a long time in your house or your club or your bar you know, you're only going to recloth it once you get it looking exactly how it is. Yeah. So, yeah, you're probably just looking, mate, you know, in excess of seven, probably just over a thousand pounds, probably st- a bit more for table wrapped. And, but again, that can be any. It could be your company's logo. For example, it could be Mercedes if you work for Mercedes, BMW. And mm. uh, we had the last one at the World Championships, Corals in the blue wrap. This one's obviously the uh, Simenez. Uh, and it looks great, and I think they'll probably change it next year, mate. Yeah, you could have it wrapped in gold leaf if you want it. It's what, oh, whatever yeah. you want to pay for, you know. Get them so. sheiks on the phone, Alan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet they would, uh, yeah. Big shot, yeah. Yeah, I just think he cues this in. He's the way he's playing. Oh, lovely. I just didn't send, drop this in now, nudge into the yellow. And uh, yeah, uh, just it's all about the weight, this shot, isn't it? Delicate little... Uh, just feather just it try in. to thin it in. That's yeah, it's okay. And he just cues it. He'll you can play I, this I in. Just drop it in. To be fair, yeah. I think he just drop it in. And Michael has got the red and the black. I think he's just going to roll it in. Leave half ball sort of black. Yes, Michael Peel. And we've got Michael Peel for the black. To beat Greg Watton seven two, and a great, great performance. Yeah. The real deal. Yeah, so the real deal beats Craig Batten uh, 7-2. Commiserations to Greg. A great run, obviously, getting to the quarterfinals. Some great wins. Uh, we're going to grab... Kev's going to grab Michael now. We're going to get him in the commentary box. Yeah. Put uh, him on the spot, Chris. And, uh, Fresh off the table. Yeah so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we joined in the commentary box by Michael Peel. 
Uh, good evening, Michael. Well done and congratulations, mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, we'll just see where. Sorry, we've got technical issues. Is he on? Just check if we on Dave, we on yet? Can you hear me, Mick? Yeah. Yeah, so congratulations, mate. You played really, really well that game, yeah? Aye, cheers. I spot on here. Just managed to find a little bit this morning, like. To be fair, you said, I think I was having a chat outside with you last 32 before you played Gareth, and you said, like, you haven't really played well. I think my words, it doesn't matter, Paul. You haven't picked up a queue since uh, February or something. It's the last day uh, the first event, aye. And I just, just get my queue back, like, a week ago. Yeah. Like, but got me spliced, so all the way, like, the balance and weights all over the place, before, like, completely normal. So, Feels yeah, good, yeah. though. Is it all piece of wood? Somebody was mentioning the queue here. I know uh, old shaft, it was uh, like machine spliced. Uh, I've sent it away getting it hand spliced because obviously I hadn't been playing, so I didn't think it would affect us that much. But I had uh, about an hour last weekend, it was too hot, couldn't handle it. You know. And I was all over the gaff, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? An hour, I love that, an hour practice. Uh, so, so uh, I just couldn't handle it, I was, I was gashed, like, so I just turned off, I thought I'd just wing it like just. As you do. Uh, yeah, I managed to find a bit this morning like, when I come in. Oh, and yeah, I know there's a few lads being on, obviously, in the chat, Mickey, and. Uh, Obviously, you know, obviously know you from a long time and I've known you since you were a young kid of buzzers, the old buzzers. Aye. And for me, one of the best players in the North East that's ever been. Part. I know obviously you've got a, a sort of family now in the house. You probably just don't put the time in you did when you were a young un. Aye. Uh, but to be fair, you know, it's a great achievement. You've got the semi-finals, mate, and uh, playing like that, you can go all the way. You know it, I know it. Uh, no, I think you speak to Ben. I think Ben's going on next, pal. Uh, uh, so, like, yeah, so obviously now, obviously in the semi final, got Simon Ward. Simon Ward? Yeah. Well, so see what happens, eh? One step at a time in this. Yeah, that, that's it. You're just a chilled out guy, you know. If, if you know your are queuing well, it doesn't matter who's there. Just play the balls in there at the end yeah. of the day, like, say, it's just most days I didn't get them. Today <laughs> yeah, I am. Today you, know you know get I mean? them, right? It's scrapped, happy birthday scrapped, and that. Scrapped a couple of wins here yesterday. Yeah. But I think since Gaz, you've played outstanding. I think like I've seen like three matches, really not made a lot of mistakes. I, like, and you look confident around the table, like you've got your swagger. It's comfortable, like, it's, uh, yeah. comfortable like walking around the table. Like, so that's how I knew I was going to play all right. Like, but obviously you get a little bit run, didn't you? And, uh, yeah, you need it though. You know yourself, you need a run, but you've got to play like you did. You bullied and you took your opportunities. Uh, and yeah, Greg, that Greg's lead. had a few dry breaks. And yeah. obviously, it's a big difference in it. Yeah, Mr. An opportunity like moves to go like twos a piece at this level. Aye. And then obviously, you've just kicked on, got your swaggy, you can see it around the table. And uh, Michael, did you did you find did you find that having that home support helped you and maybe hindered him a little bit? I didn't. I didn't have. I didn't have. Maybe seen that him. Maybe him a little bit. Like, but uh, I didn't. I didn't really uh, think about it because, like I said, I was feeling comfortable. Like it's. It's mad how different it is. Like when you, you know, when you're feeling comfortable. Yeah, you just feel just, there, don't well, you? Yeah. You, you, you just you're not the same player. It's like somebody else's armor on your body. Like yeah. But obviously, I've the smoke. Like yes, compared to yesterday. Different player. You said you couldn't play to me this morning, didn't you? Oh, you said oh, yes, I was rubbish. I don't, I can't believe I made. I where actually, I'm at. I was, com- I was, I lost yesterday in the winner side, and I was actually thinking about going home and not even playing the loser side. Hmm. That's how bad it was, like. But obviously, I, I stayed. Just caught the last metro home last night. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> As you do. Straight out of bed and straight to show shields. Just uh, like I say, it was just one of them lucky days, like. It's not lucky. You play well, do you know. Uh, what I mean? You know it's there, mate. Like, it's, but it's lucky. It felt like. Today, right, on the final, yeah. like, the finals day the, for the main event, anything else, I might have to take my pro status now, and it, yeah, if, I, if I get <laughs> any more, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, you're all right. I think you're not holding the last 16, pal, so obviously, I think you've got Simon now, I think Ben's playing Clinton in the semi-final. Do what you do and bring the UK Open, we in Newcastle, pal. I right, hopefully it stays there. in Newcastle, mate. Exactly, my mate. Well, keep up with the Geordies. Yeah, congratulations again, pal. Right, cheers, mate. Yeah, played fantastic, and just two more wins, and we win the title, pal. That's it, like. Cheers.
So we, uh, we've just, if it's a word, de uh in the commentary box for a minute while uh, uh, Chris has just gone for a bit of a, a bit of a break, but he'll be back very shortly. Um, it's great having Chris in the commentary box. He, uh, he knows this this neck of the woods very well. He knows all the players, and um, we're just about to get on the way for a mouth-watering contest with uh, none other than Clint Ianson and Ben Davies and we're just about to be joined in a com box by none other than Dan Davy. and to uh, save the day here to save the day and uh, <laughs> s- save me from talking to myself yeah there's uh, nothing I feel sorry for you over here talking to yourself there's nothing worse yeah it's bad enough you do it in your room and it's, you don't need to <laughs> Ready to do it on, on so, air, dear. And then we've got uh, alongside Dan, we've got also Simon Webb. Uh, don't think you turned on just yet. Am I not turned? I'm on. I'm yeah, on. He's, oh, he's, on. There, he's there. Simon he's Webb has turned on. I tell you what, I'm feeling. He's turned uh, on. You know, in other sports where they have uh, you know golf on course commentators, I've got such a long lead. I feel like getting out into the arena and yeah. uh, walking around the table and just giving <laughs> you a, a bit more of an on yeah. table uh, commentary. Yeah, a bit of a sort yeah. of. Um, just nip up to uh, after <coughs> someone misses a shot. Just nip up to him and just go. So why didn't you play the double? <laughs> yeah. No, I think we should have a bit of that. Let's, yeah, get, let's get a little bit of interaction with the players. Is we should have interaction before they start. Yeah. Like, just, like whispering in their ear while they're on well, the shot. Think, or I, well, whilst when um, let's say one of them misses a really bad ball, like you just go down and uh, just uh, stand with them and uh, and, uh, and and just ask him what went wrong. So, so why did you miss that black? <laughs> Just as they sat there watching their opponent clear up. <laughs> yeah. I think we should get them on for, for uh, pre-match interviews. And um, just uh, because they've got no choice, they, they've already agreed to do any of it. And just, just ask them awkward questions like, you know, so... so. OK, well, if we, have you got the uh, chat there? Because we could get some... Uh, we have got get, the chat, get, yeah. Get some questions in for the after-match interview then. That's that. Yeah. Rather than us asking them something, generic, yeah, there we let go. Us know yeah. What you, yeah, let's know what you want us to ask, and we'll write down any good ones. Yeah, uh, Duffer nineteen seventy just says, uh, "Watch your match <coughs> earlier, Dan. Great match to watch. Probably yeah. cheers. I was surprised they played as well as they did, but it's, um, it was actually quite a good match to play. Yeah, mm. I think it was quite quick. Um, but but it was that against Connor? Was it? Yeah, yeah. it was. Eight, I lost eight six in probably just probably just under an hour, but there were plenty of them off the break and. Mm. Uh, I actually did get a kick in the last frame. I've, I've confirmed it before bitching about it. <laughs> um, I, I'm sad enough to, to have gone back to the room and watched it back on the stream. Mm. It's just na- oh, it's never a natural angle to go near that. I've gone in, I was match lost. <laughs> but, um, yeah.